Hi guys, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig. Callie, Hank, and I are currently on a road trip. Behind us, you can see Whitefish Ski Resort up here in Montana. Now, we're making our way up to Canada on a multi-week trip, and it's obviously the middle of winter. One thing that we have been very glad to have, and maybe especially Hank, are the Polar Treks dog boots made by Roughwear. This is something that Hank has had in the past from Roughwear, but they've actually updated the design with these new boots. And I'll tell you the truth, these stay on a heck of a lot better than their old boots. With the older ones, they didn't fit quite as well on his paws, and the closure system just didn't seem quite as nice as what you get with this newer version. They've got a lot of technology put into these. The price is a little bit higher than maybe what you can find others for, but I think the boot is really worth it. These are gonna be comparable to maybe a boot that you'd buy from Garmont or Solomon. To start with, on the exterior, they do have a DWR coating. What that is, if you're not familiar with it, it just means durable water repellency. So that's gonna help to keep the moisture out of the boot if you're obviously in the snow, maybe in the rain, walking through puddles, anything like that. It's gonna help to keep his feet dry. Now with that, it's just a coating. It's not built into the fabric. It is something that if it wears out over the years, you can always reapply it. Now, to start with, on the inside of the boot, if I roll this cuff down, and you can't see this, on Hank's paws currently because this cuff is extended high, but you have this Velcro closure. This is gonna be the first thing that keeps this boot on. One thing that we did with Hank is he has different size paws in the front and in the back. Roughwear knows and understands that that's a common thing a lot of dogs have. So you don't need to buy the same size boot for front and back. That's something we had on the last boots and they didn't fit all that well because of his different size paws. With these ones, we have slightly smaller and slightly larger, which really helps. Once you get through the first piece of the puzzle, which is getting his foot and his paw into the boot, which can be a little bit time consuming to go through all four, but we found that if it's too easy to get on, it's really easy to get off. So these ones are a little bit trickier to get on. It takes a little bit of time to get his paw all the way in there. But once it's in, all you have to do is cinch this Velcro piece down, and that really helps to keep his paw inside this boot. Now, another thing that helps to keep it all in there is this nice zippered closure on the top. This extends up his leg and really helps to keep all of that snow out of the boot. On his last boots that we had, we actually had some socks that Roughwear makes that we would put on his paw first and then slip into the boot. And I think all of that stuff was adding to the problem, making the boots really easy to slip off. With these, we don't use socks or anything like that. His paw goes right into the boot, Velcro closure, zips up, and these things are on very solid. Now on the bottom of the boot, these have a Vibram sole. This is a really high quality sole that's gonna last a long time. Again, these are what you will find on regular hiking boots that you'd buy for yourself. They also have a nice traction pattern on the bottom that's gonna help for anti-slippage on ice or hard packed snow like this parking lot is. One thing we found when Hank's not wearing these, he definitely slides around a lot. We've also tried some other ones from other companies and again, Without this sole, we found that he slides a lot. It's almost counterproductive because they may keep his feet dry, but he can't really walk or climb in a skin track or anything because it's so slick. On the front of the boot, if you're gonna be out in the evening or dark with him, it does have this nice reflective material here so you can always see him. Now, one thing to mention that I found is this cuff on the top is more of a spandex type of material. I don't think that that would protect his legs from a ski edge. I think the ski edge would probably go right through this material. However, down a little bit lower, this green and the gray, I think that's gonna help a lot to protect his paws from any type of a ski edge. That's happened to me before in the past with our last dog that we had. I did cut her leg with my ski edge. So that's definitely something that they're thinking about here and they're trying to really protect your dog's legs when you're taking them out skiing 
or any activity such as that. Also with the sole, the very bottom is a little bit more robust than this top portion right here. So the boot really seems to bend a little bit easier up here than it does all the way at the bottom of the boot. And I think that's been a little bit of a design change from their previous boot. I felt like their last one was a little bit stiffer up here and that helped for the boot to come off a little bit easier. With this one, it seems to just move with his joint a little bit better, helping to keep the boot stay put where it's supposed to be. Now definitely, once you get these on and you go out, maybe check them after five or 10 minutes, make sure they're still tight because they probably will move around a little bit. But after that second adjustment, I think that you're gonna be really happy with them. Again, this is the new and improved Polar Trex dog boot made by Rough Wear. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below and we'll get back to you. And if you're ever wondering where we're at, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Adventure Rig. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.